All right, next one, Jora Mormont. Um, great character, great character from beginning to to the end. Uh, way better than his book counterpart. Very charismatic, and uh, his ending um, was very very fitting. Um, I would probably put him also. I would also put him into C tier. Jory Cassell, um, yeah, minor character. Um, I will put him right next to Salad Versan. Carl Tanner, the fucking legend of Ginali. Um, yeah, great addition, great uh, little, great little uh, villain, and uh, not much to say about him. Uh, I will put him into D tier. Next one, Kevin Lannister. Not too bad. He plays a larger role in the books, but he's alright. Given how much screen time he has, it's okay. D tier. Next one, Dorea. Nah, I'm joking. Uh, where do I put Dorea? Probably into E tier, to be honest. Not really fond of the whole Carf storyline. Prefer it in the books. Um, Carl Drogo. Just badass. Just just the portrayal of, of uh, Carl Drogo um, by Jason Momoa is just badass. Iconic. Um, can't put him higher than any of those guys in C tier. Um, so he's just joining them. Uh, Carl Kono? Is it Kono? I'm not sure. Uh, but again, very minor character. Uh, not too bad. D tier. Next one. Uh, Benjamin Stark, cold hands apparently. Um, I'm going to put him into D tier because uh, I I don't really like how he ended up. He was just plot armor at the end. He just saved Br Bran, then he saved John, and then he died. That's why he came back, and I I don't like that type of stuff. D tier. Krasnys, very minor character, he will join uh, Benjen. Alright, next one, Fake Cersei, also heading for D tier. Then we got Lancel Lannister, uh, pretty, pretty good performance by the actor, and also a uh, great character arc in general, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. From beginning to end, I will put him into, uh, where do I put him? I will put him into C tier. Next one, Leaf. She got recast. It didn't do much after it. Um, we only saw her maybe three or four times. Then in the end, she sacrificed herself for Bran. Her saving Bran didn't save Bran. It was Hodor, so... Uh, I will put her, um, because I, I just think in general the children of the forest are um, just wasted potential in the show. I will put her into E tier. Now, what's this guy's name again? Locke. It's, it's Locke. He chops off Jamie's hand and then gets killed by uh, Bran. Um... Yeah, minor character. D tier, not too, not too bad, not, 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 uh, anything over the top. Solaris Terrell, he's a really, really great swordsman or just knight in general in the books, and uh, yeah, probably suffered from uh, his character arc. Probably suffered from uh, D and D cutting out the the whole. Um, young Griff storyline 
as well. Um, so I will put him into D tier again. Liana Mormont. Um, well, minor character. Um, had some fun scenes. Uh, yeah, I'll put her into D tier. Lisa Erin, really, really good actress. Um, I'm going to put her into C tier because uh, I just liked how she was treated in the show, it was uh, perfectly utilized. Next one, Mace Tyrell. Um, again, minor character and uh, not too bad. I will put him into D tier. Next one, Maester Raymond. Um, really, really liked his scenes. Um, one of my absolute favorite scenes in Game of Thrones is uh, the little scene um, between him and Samuel in season four when uh, he talks about the love of his life. And uh, yeah, uh, I will put him into B tier. Next on Meister Lewin. Um pretty much uh pretty much the same. I really, really enjoyed his scene early on and um uh, yeah, he joins Meister Raymond and B tier. Mans Raider. Great character and uh great actor. And up until the end I enjoyed all of his scenes. He just fit the role. So um yeah, I will put him into C tier. Next one, Marjorie Terrell. Um, way better than her book version, in my opinion. Um, Natalie Dormer was really good for the role. And I will put her into C tier. There you go. Next one, Merillion. Uh, where do I put you? Very, very minor character. Plays a larger role in the books. Uh, yeah, I will just um, put him into E tier. Uh, next one, Mira Reed. Um, where did you go? <laughs> we never saw her again. Kind of expected her to show up in season 8. Um, but nevertheless, I would put Mira into C tier. Next one, Melisandre. Um, I would probably put her right next to Mira because I I enjoyed her story arc throughout the entire show. Leaving things like the glamour out was was okay, um, especially because of, at that point uh, most magical uh, things from 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 the books just didn't appear. So I will put her right next to Mira. Marin Trant, uh, aka too old. <laughs> um, not too bad, not too bad. I will put him right next to, to uh, Mace Tyrell, though. Miri Mastor, very important for Danny, and uh, yeah, I will put her right next to Marin. Miranda. Very annoying, <laughs> very annoying. Um, I think she is one of the one of the worst characters in Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, uh, I will put her into the F tier section. Sorry, Miranda. Next one, Marcella. Um, she got recast um, later on and didn't have too much of a role um, and even then it was uh, just teenager stuff as you as you'd expect from a teenager um, yeah I, I will I'll put her into E tier regardless not too fond of her scenes now the next two are joining Miranda I absolutely 
didn't understand the approach to the sand snakes. You have so many daughters and so many uh, amazing opportunities to portray Oberyn's offspring as badass as you want. And nah, not for me. I'll leave it at that. Next one, Oberyn. Absolutely phenomenal uh, from beginning to end. Uh, Pedro Pascal is a phenomenal actor and he absolutely deserves having all these roles after Game of Thrones. Um, I will put him into the B tier section. Can't rank him higher than than Jeremy and yeah. Next one, Elena Tyrell. Now, that's definitely one of the best uh, written characters and best portrayed characters in the entire show. Uh, just straight up, that's one of the one of the best performances I've seen in the whole thing, and uh, from beginning to end, she will join Joffrey, Cersei, and Eddard Stark in the A tier section. Next one, Ollie. Right into E tier. Uh, didn't really get why we uh, wasted so much screen time on building up this character out of nowhere. Um, yeah. Next one, Olivar. Um, I would put him into. Yeah, I will probably put him into. E tier. Next one, Osha. I really, really enjoyed uh, her in the earlier seasons, and uh, she even convinced George R. R. Martin to uh, write more stuff about Osha in the books whenever that happens. Um, didn't like how quickly she died in the end, but probably understandable because um, given that at that point we only had like. 10 more episodes in Game of Thrones or 15 that was just necessary um, I guess but uh, yeah I will put her right next to Mary Mustor into D tier next one Littlefinger iconic uh, didn't like his ending at all <laughs> but uh, regardless I will put him into uh the C tier section. Pardic Pain. Quite a lovely story from beginning to the end. Very loyal guy. Um, one of the more simple characters. Uh, yeah, I will put him right next to uh, right next to Osha though. Polliver. Minor character. Uh, minor villain, um, not too bad. I will put him right next to Podrick. Pirate Pre also plays a larger role in the books. He goes into the D tier section. Next one, Pipar. Um, with a r lovely little friendship between John, Gren, Samuel, and Dolores Ed. Where do I put him? I'd probably put him. Right next to Pirate Pre. Next one, Corrin Halfhand. Uh, nice little minor character. Didn't mind his portrayal at all. Um, he will join the guys in the D tier section. Moving on, we got Randall Tolly. Now, where do I put Randall? Um, he was a nice little uh, villain, I guess. Uh, yeah, not too bad, but I can't put him any higher or at the same level at like, let's say, a little finger or a or a Jora. I will put him into the D tier section. Ramsey, very very good character, um, in terms of acting. At least we didn't have to. Uh, see the even darker version of Bolton because of, of, of Ramsey 
because he's a straight up psychopath. And uh, yeah, let's put him. Let's put him into the C tier section. Next one, Rust. Um, minor character, didn't mind him too much. Let's put him into the D tier section. Next one, Renly. Uh, where do I put Renly? Now, I really liked the way Gavin Anthony played Renly, and he had a big understanding of the character and the book series, or the series in general. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing to say, nothing, nothing to add. I will put him into the C tier section. Next one, Rickon Stark didn't play much of a role past season three, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think a scene between him and Ramsey would have been interesting to see, but given that he dies anyway, um, and yeah. I will put him into the D tier section. Next one, Rob Stark, a uh, great character. Um, also one that I like more in the show than in the than in the book series. And for that reason alone, I will put him into the B tier section. Next one, uh, Robert Baratheon. Uh, what can I say? An absolute. Uh, meme legend bobby b um yeah i will put him into the c tier section just uh yeah just phenomenal mark eddy great actor next one sweet robin very very minor character just appears here and there uh, had a huge glow up for season eight. Um, yeah, I will put him into the D tier section. Next one, Jory Cassell, great actor. Um, I liked his approach to the character; was uh, not too bad. I will put him into the D tier section. Next one, Roose Bolton, uh, great actor. Played the role perfectly. Um, could have been given more screen time, especially uh, in uh, yeah season five. But nevertheless, um, that's probably due to uh, D and D cutting uh, the northern politics um, out. At least a huge part of it with Stannis and. Uh, all the other stuff that is going on with Mandalay and you name it. Um, not his fault though, and uh, he will get into the C tier section. Ross, minor character. Um, I liked the way they added her to uh, Littlefinger's story arc, and uh, yeah, I will put her into D tier. Next one, Samuel Tarly. Uh, where do I put Samuel? Um, it's a character that I really, really enjoy in the book series. Um, he had a couple of scenes with Gilly that were quite annoying. Um, but yeah, where do I put Samuel? Um, if this would, would have been the books, and uh, by the way, I will probably do one for the books as well. Uh, this would have been far higher up, but I can't uh, do it any higher than D tier. I'm sorry. The old, times, the old town storyline was the chance to shine and there just wasn't much there. Salise. Where do I put Salise? I'm going to put you into the D tier section. I like the way she portrayed the character, but uh, it wasn't that deep. It wasn't that. Uh, it was just a. Uh, yeah. Next one. What's this guy's name again? Orel? Uh, I think it's. I think it's Orel. Um, I'm going to put Aurel 
into the E tier section it was quite annoying to <laughs> listen to him whine the entire time but yeah moving on uh, Septa Mordain um, where do I put Septa Mordain um, very minor character didn't mind her at all let's put her into D tier Septa Unella shame where do I put you um, Probably right next to Septim Ordain. Not too bad. Next one, Shay. I think I'll I'll also put her into the D tier section. Shireen, great casting. Uh, and the way she portrays uh, the death scene alone, that, that, that scream is just burnt into my head and for that reason alone, I will put her into the C tier section because it's just a standout scene, and she, 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 she ruled it. Next one, the boy, the legend, the man, Stannis. Uh, where do I put show Stannis? Um, I gotta be fair. I, I. Uh, I base this on writing as well as acting. Stephen Delane is Stannis. It's just, it's just perfect for the role, and uh, I really enjoyed his scenes. And um, just, I just don't, just don't like the ending. Um, and for that, I can't rank him any higher than C tier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. We're called House of the Stack. If this would be the Song of Ice and Fire tier list, well, my man would be up there. But it's not, and I gotta be fair. Next one, Steer. Uh, minor character, nothing, not all that special. I will put him into the E, e tier category. Next one, Sirio Forel, the first sort of Bravos. It was an absolute pleasure to have this guy on for a podcast episode. Um, it's just a nice bloke, even off camera. Um, and uh, but yeah, about his character, I think it's a way better character than his book counterpart. I I actually really enjoyed his scenes, and uh, yeah, I'm going to put him into the C tier category. Very important character for Arya early on in Game of Thrones. Next one, Tal Talisa Magir. Uh, where do I put her? Probably into the E tier section because I would have preferred to see Jane Westerling, to be honest. Um, was very stereotypical, uh, just a romance type of thing, and I, I'm not too big on that. Next one, High Sparrow. Uh, Jonathan Price heads off to to the amazing Jonathan Price. Um, I will put him into the C tier section. It was a really, really great addition to the already amazing cast. Next one, Night King. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to do uh, loads more stuff. To be honest, um, and uh, yeah, lots of wasted potential. So so much potential. In the end, he was uh, yeah, kind of just like an ice orc. And uh, if that's what uh, this is all about, then I guess uh, yeah, he just um, has to join Talisa. I still to this day don't think we're going to get a Night King in the books, by the way, for exactly that reason. Next one, the Waif, uh, aka Arnold Schwarzenegger, aka Terminator, aka Overpowered, aka F tier. <laughs> Next one, uh, 
Boros of Mir. Uh, where do I put him? Very charismatic guy. Also, uh, in Afterlife, in Ricky Gervais's Afterlife, and uh, yeah, enjoyed his scenes. Quite funny. Um, I'll put him into the C tier section. Next one, the Free Eyed Raven. Um, great actor. I would have preferred to see the real Blood Raven, and uh, for that reason, he will have to join D tier. Next one, Tom and Baratheon. What can I say? Uh, I will place him into the D tier category. Then we got Torment. Uh, Stays the same, stays in character pretty much um, for the the whole entirety of his being on the show. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not too bad. Quite funny. And uh, Christoph Hevchu is a, a great actor, so I'll put him in the C tier category. Uh, then we got Tristane Martel. Tristane. Um, yeah. He will go straight into the F tier category. Then we got Tyene Sand. Also. Nope. Not too keen on the Sand Snakes and anything that has to do with Dorn on the show. Then moving on, we got Tycho Nestoris. Very minor character, um, not too bad, um, but in again, I can't rank him any higher than D tier. Then we got Varys, a uh, great character, um, didn't really enjoy his ending, but nevertheless, uh, brilliantly portrayed um, by the actor, and uh, yeah, I will put him into the C tier section is pretty much the same thing that goes for Littlefinger. Next one, Viserys Targaryen. Minor character, left a mark on the show. Very important for the development of Danny er early on at least. And uh, yeah, uh, where do I put Viserys? I, I can't put him any higher than, let's say, D tier. Then we got Walder Bolton, or Walder Frey. Uh, didn't really do anything. Uh, very, very, very minor. Um, so I would have to put her into the E tier section where similar characters are already. Walder Frey got what he deserved. Uh, didn't fully agree with the circumstances and how he went out. Um, but yeah, great, great character. C tier. Moving on, we got Xaro Xuan Daxos, uh, who I will put into the D tier category. He's, uh, again, he's alive in the books, but died in the show and, uh, yeah, not too much to say about it. Then we got Asha, or in the show Yara Greyjoy. Um, very well cast. I enjoyed her, her storyline. I enjoyed uh, most of her scenes. And uh, for that she will go into the C tier section. Next one, Egret. Uh, very well played. I enjoyed her scenes and uh, she will join Asha. Bronze Yon Royce, the one who actually got to use the breastplate stretcher. Because Jesus Christ, does this man have a big ass armor? <laughs> but yeah, uh, minor character and. Um, I'll put him into the D tier section. 
same thing goes for Yoren. Um, and then we got Kyburn, uh, who I really enjoyed, especially early on, the scenes that he has with Jamie, and then the earlier scenes with Cersei. Um, they didn't have much of a clue on how to end him, so the mountain just cranks his neck. Um, but uh, yeah, wouldn't be uh, fair to rank him with any of the guys at C tier, so he joins all of the D tier characters. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I try to do this as best as I can and be fair, uh, but nevertheless, leave it down in the comment section below if you disagree with any of my picks and uh, if you want me to do this um, with a Song of Ice and Fire characters or any other stuff, let me know and uh, yeah, see you later.